Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Monday. Hope y'all are doing good today. So it is a lot going on right now on social media. So I'm here to break it down to y'all. So if you guys do not know, over the weekend, honey, nobody was expecting this, but Sexy Red, a.k.a. Miss Ski, basically, long story short, somebody ski and forgot to pull out because she announced to the whole world via SZA that she is currently pregnant. And when I tell you social media was in shock, and a lot of her fans are not here for it at all. She came on to social media and this is what she wrote. She says, team boy or team girl at SZA. And then she posted these pictures and people were shocked. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just share with you guys some of these comments that people were writing because they were definitely not here for this unexpected pregnancy. So one person says, if you're really pregnant, that's sad. Two men posted you sleeping with them and you already said you don't wear condoms. I hope you know who your child's father is. This is not even cute. Somebody else says, bro, refund me them tickets. You just pissed me the fuck off with over 9,000 likes. Another person says, why the fuck would you not use condoms? I've never been so disappointed about a pregnancy until now. Somebody else says, girl, what? I'm not coming to the concert no more. You just pissed me off. Somebody else says, sexy, please don't piss me off. I just broke up with my nigga, sexy. What the fuck? I thought we was outside. So a lot of her fans are not here for this pregnancy announcement. They want to be ratchet in peace. They want to enjoy being outside with their favorite female rapper, honey. So people were not here for this. Um, at this point, I don't know who the hoochie baby daddy is. I don't know if it's this dude right here with the ankle monitoring bracelet or the loser who allegedly, quote unquote, leaked her sex tape. So I don't know which man it is but one of them, you know what I'm saying, ski in her. Um, so with that being said, she took to social media today to not only announce that today was the first day of her tour and she's on tour, pregnant, in heels, was dancing and performing. Y'all can see her right here. So after her pregnancy news hit the airwaves, she also took to her Instagram stories and she wrote this. I was pregnant as F on here trying to suck my belly in. I got tired of faking. Why is her spelling so horrible? Now, I mean, I'm not the best, you know, speller. I try, but it seems like she's purposely trying to write ratchet and misspelled words on purpose come on belly's not that hard to spell faking is missing a g but we'll let her get away with that but trana it's is that hard to add a y okay all right then she also wrote i couldn't breathe now we've heard people say the word breathe but i've never seen anybody try to actually write it out girl her and this ratchet person <laughs> <laughs> her and this ratchet persona is a bit too much but okay sis we see you so congratulations to her and her pregnancy this is her second child you know i wish her the best people are saying that you know this might mess up her career she had no business getting pregnant but in this day and age these female rappers can do anything and still have a career speaking of the next female rapper who just had a baby who's still out here trying to push her career. Krishan and Blueface are once again trending right now. So if you guys do not know, Krishan and Blueface have, you know, supposedly fully broken up. Blueface is back with Jaden Alexis, and Krishan is dating some white boy. At first, I thought his name was Little Malibu, like Malibu's Most Wanted, you know, that white boy that was in that movie. But um, his name is Little Mabu. I don't know what a Mabu is, child, but him and Krishan, they just dropped a diss track towards Krishan's baby daddy, Blueface. This whole situation's a hot mess. Y'all go ahead and listen to this diss track. It is trending all over social media right now. I like blue faces, so I took his baby. Fuck Blueface, I had to find a new babe. Yeah, I, with my boo, fuck what you say. I might put it in his face, cause he wanna taste. This that new born pussy, make my water break. All right, so y'all just heard their diss track. I don't know if Blueface is going to respond, but, you know, they are definitely coming at his top. 
So now what I also want to bring up is that Bow Wow is going in. Bow Wow is tired of the antics. He's tired of, you know, artists not having any type of artist development. He's just tired of what he's seen coming from modern day artists in this day and age. As we all know, Bow Wow has been in the game since he was literally six years old, okay? I remember him being in Gin and Juice with Snoop Dogg when he was a shorty for real. I remember him performing on the Arsenio Hall show. So Bow Wow has been in the game for a year and I think that he's a dope messenger to push this message so this is what Bawa had to say he took to Twitter and it's currently going viral he says can we please bring back artist development at these labels do these labels even care about these artists y'all be throwing them on platforms knowing that they're not ready a boxer is trained and taught before the battle we just keep throwing subpar artists out here with no proper teaching it's too many real ones on here on the come up like Simba West Side Boogie, I can name so many more. Lady London, Lola, like new artists that got it, who deserve the push. But instead, man, I'm done even speaking on it. Ha ha, shit be getting me hot. Stop pushing the BS on us. The fans are waking up and hip hop is about to change for the better. Stay in the house if you playing. Move over and let the real ones play. They can't talk. I don't understand what the fuck they saying. Be dry as hell in interviews. Y'all know I take the stage serious. I don't even want to get on the stage presence. Rapping over vocals. Shit is sloppy out here, man. We got to clean this shit up. Get better or get the fuck out the way. Thank you. As y'all know, I have been saying the same thing that Bow Wow is saying for years now. There's no artist development. People are literally becoming artists because they're going viral on social media. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Half these folks can't rap, they can't dance. When you interview them, their ego's out of this world. They come here, bro. What are you, like, why are you doing that? you can't understand what they're saying, they're not talking about shit. And um, as much as you know, Ice Spice has grown on me, I think she's a cute girl. But her performances are so lackluster. She just dropped a new track with Rima. And I was excited because I love Rima. You know, he's doing his thing in the Afrobeat world. And, you know, the song is cute. But once again, I'm just over these super short songs. The song is like two minutes long. There's no real hook. There's no bridge. It doesn't really have a lot of feeling. I did like the second verse a lot better. So, you know, I'm trying to entertain the song a bit. So I'm thinking, all right, she's about to perform. It's her first time on SNL. Hopefully she's gotten better from her previous performances, which to me were just dry. And unfortunately, her performance on SNL, cute song for the most part, but it was just boring. Like she's just literally standing there. She might twerk a little something, but there's just no feeling. It, it feels like when I watch her and other people perform, it's given me high school talent show. And honestly, at high school talent shows, I've seen more talent. At high school talent shows, you better get up there, dance your ass off, do tricks, backflips. That's just keeping it all the way real. I've seen more talent at high school talent shows from some of these quote unquote singers and rappers and artists. Like you literally have artists now that are just standing in the middle of the stage singing, not swaying, not shaking their hips, no two step, no back and forth. They look so disinterested. It's insane. But what's what they're not disinterested in is the money. See, they want us to buy the tickets, they want us to come to the shows, but then they want to sit here and give subpar performances, and that's where you know, the whole situation just annoys me. Because I feel like when people are spending their money, you need to rock out. They need to be coming to see you and leaving better than when they got there. If I can hype a crowd up from the comfort of my home on a live stream and I can get thousands of people hyped and I'm having fun and I'm just, you know, talking and randomly freestyling and just having fun in my live, I'm confused as to why people who have pyrotechnics, they have background dancers. I mean, they have all of these tools at their fingertips. Why are they giving lackluster performances? I give more hype performances on my live stream than some of these artists give on the BET stage, on SNL, on MTV. It's like, are y'all even understanding what it means to be an artist nowadays? So many people give their blood, sweat, and tears. You got folks who damn near sacrifice their souls, honey, to be in a position where you guys are at and y'all are not taking it seriously. When we were growing up, the industry did not play. It was a certain level, it was a bar, and if you were not 
at that bar, you were not put out there, period. You were not doing interview runs. You were not speaking to blogs, let alone doing real media interview. Um, if you could not dance and sing at the same damn time, you were not put out there. You be saying no, 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 no. But it's really yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the nine nines and the 2000s, you had to know how to dance. You had to have breath control. You couldn't just get on stage with an entourage of 30 year homeboys while y'all just mumble and just stand there and mug the camera. That's not a performance. You had to put in work back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Because as an artist, you're an investment. They're investing in you. You're not bringing them no money. Nobody knows who the hell you are. They are investing time energy money into you so they took it so much more seriously back then i think because of social media where anybody can kind of pop on their own from going viral the investments are not there the mentality of this is my investment is not there any longer and it's sad we don't have girls who are like really putting in work like the beyonce's the leah's the ashanti's the sierra's we're not seeing that anymore we're seeing a lot of lackluster folks and they're getting by based on their looks or their bodies or their following it's not really based on talent you know back in the day you couldn't even get pregnant there was no way that sexy red you're about to start a, a major tour that is a blessing you know how many people right now can't even do a tour because they can't sell tickets for whatever reason sexy red does have a dedicated fan base people really fuck with her and you know her tours have been selling out so for her to come on just announce that she's pregnant on the fly and i'm tired of hiding my pregnancy oh well if this was like 10 15 years ago it wouldn't even be an option you know what I'm saying? You don't understand like how many female artists were either pressured into having abortions or they dropped them. They were dropped by their label. We've seen that happen with Tracy Braxton, you know, where the Braxton sisters, they had to leave her because she got pregnant and they had to move on with their career. Um, remember that almost happened when Tamika got pregnant from Escape. And the only reason why Tamika was able to save her job was because her sister, Tasha, stood up for her and was like, if my sister gets kicked out the group, then I'm leaving too. They didn't play that pregnancy stuff. You were here to do a job. Once you've done that job and you've made money and you're a household name, then you can go get married, get knocked up, have, you know, 10 babies if you want to. But when you're first starting your career, that's not even an option. So, yeah, it, it's just very interesting how, and it's not just hip hop, I just think the industry in general. General, you know, because it's very easy to just blame hip hop artists, but I think a lot of people in the industry in, in American music have gotten a lot lazier. And this is why, like I've been saying for a while now, a lot of people are now gravitating towards K-pop and towards Afrobeats. You know, right now they are the top selling type of music now globally, where before it was hip hop. You know, hip hop dominated for years. And this is the first time in years where hip hop is falling off. They're not barely making it on the billboard. They're not selling out globally. You got a lot of hip hop artists who can't even sell out their concert tickets. So many concerts have been canceled this year due to lack of ticket sales. Because again, people are tired of the gimmicks. I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but rap music is down 40%. Check the charts. Check the math. What are we as rappers, producers, composers gonna do about this shit? Cause it's down 40% this year. Do you research? It's a fact. Let's have a conversation. What are we gonna do? Rap is down 40%, man. We gotta we gotta figure some shit out. Like, we gotta sit down and talk. Let's have a meeting. Let's meet up somewhere. Let's have a big ass fucking meeting. Let's talk about this shit, how we can turn this shit around. Cause this is how we eat. This is how we make money. We make money. I make money. We all make money. Rappers, we make money off rap. Shows, publishing, this is how we make money. This is how we eat. This is how we take care of our families. It's down fucking 40%, nigga. Real shit. But I'm willing, and I hope you willing, to let's figure out something to keep this motherfucking money train People want the real. They want bars to come back. They want real music. Of course, you'll always have, you know, like the ratchet, you know, musicians and the ones who are drama filled like Krishan and, you know, Sexy Red and stuff. There's a, you know, there's a seat for them at the table, too. But I think for the most part, real people are getting more and more disinterested in the antics and the ratchet personas. They want 
real music back. They want music that has feelings. They want music that's timeless. If I play a little Bow Wow song right now, it will take you to a time and space in your life. I don't care how old you are. You'll either remember your little sister rocking out to Little Bow Wow. You just don't know the way you move. So You know what I mean? Or, you know, Shorty Like Mine when that plays. Like, it will take you to a time and space. <laughs> Whereas like a lot of this music, it doesn't take me anywhere. It literally just takes me to the couch and just makes me fall the fuck asleep. It, does, it doesn't do anything for me. If it comes on, yeah, I might two-step, but it's not anything that's like, oh, I'm going to remember this moment, you know, five years from now. It's just not, and I think that's the saddest part, is that the feeling in music is gone. You know, the songs are so short because the attention spans are short. There's no bridges, there's no hooks, there's no melodies. I think that's why some people really like my theme songs that I use on here, because it kind of reminds them of the music back in the day, back in the 90s, and that's why I, you know, wrote and had the girls sing the songs how I wanted them sang, because I wanted even my theme songs to have feelings, because you don't have that anymore, and it's sad. So even though a lot of people may not like Bow Wow, you know, um, I don't think he's wrong here. I think his message, I'm hearing it loud and clear. And a lot of people are tired of mediocrity. And that's all I'm seeing. You know, everything is about popularity. And it's not about the real. Even like during the BT Awards, they had a, the best podcast award. And you have Gillian Wallow, Million Dollars Worth of Game, and even, you know, lovely Joe Budden, and so many others. And guess who won? Carisha, please, once again. And, you know, no knock to Carisha, but outside of her interviewing people about their sex life and, you know, her wanting to be peed on and all this weird stuff, she doesn't talk about anything deep. How many times have we seen Gillian Wallow break down and cry? You know, so it's almost like the industry is pushing mediocrity. And that's the sad part. But anyways, y'all, I leave the question up to you guys. How do y'all feel about all this? How do y'all feel about what Bow Wow had to say? You know, do you feel like at this point the industry is filled with nothing but industry plan? And, you know, they're just here to get a check and, you know, keep it pushing? Do you feel like something has to change? Because hip-hop, you know, this is the 50-year anniversary of hip-hop. And it feels like it's slowly dying. And I think it's sad. And I'm not saying that there's not real artists out here. Because they definitely are real artists out here you know, that drop real music, but they don't get that mainstream push. And that's the part that's unfortunate. You have to go out your way to search for the real artists because they're not going to be trending on Twitter. It's going to be the ones who are constantly embroiled in scandals like Blueface and Krishan and so many others that are going to be trending. But the ones who are really making it about the music like Rod Wave and, you know, Lady London, you know, so many others whose music just bangs, you're not going to hear from them unless they're viral for some fuck shit, unfortunately. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Let me know your thoughts on all of this craziness. Let me know what y'all feel about Ice Spice and Rima's new song. How do you guys feel about her performance on SNL? Were you guys here for it? Do you feel like it was super dry? And then how do y'all feel about Sexy Red basically announcing that she was tired of pretending that she wasn't pregnant and that she's pregnant? We don't know who the daddy is, okay? But how do y'all feel about the way she announced it and the fact that she's starting tour? Because right now her fans are not here for this pregnancy. And then last but not least, let me know your thoughts on Bow Wow. Do y'all agree with him? Do you feel like he's the right message, right messenger? Or do you feel like, no, this is just the truth regardless of who the messenger is? So yes, go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you guys hit the video with the like. Make sure you guys share the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.